I had a dream that I could do it, I just had to pursue it It was a revelation, get on top of the music Ain't no options but moving, boy I'm popping, it's proven And not do it, it's useless, that option would be too stupid To cool my emotions, I go through and be uh, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls Blood Exchange is back, episode number 17 Numero 17 Episode 17, we back Shit. Welcome back to the Blood Shoot. Exchange Woo. Already know It's your host and gunner uh. A.K.A. Uh. Gregory Hines, the great dance legend. Tap, 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 tap. A.K.A. Aim High. One time. Stay fly. Stay uh, fly. Low life. You dig. Wow, that's an amazing entrance. Go to ahead. my left, I got another, none other than my guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my name is Crump. What's poppin'? Uh, A.K.A. A.K.A. Dexter. Uh. uh. A.K.A. the robot. Woo! A.K.A. William H. <laughs> William H. 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 All time great. great vibes. Cereal <laughs> killy. Wow. Some I, I love cereal. I kill. I, I like doing cereal. That's not what we mean, but good way. That's I a, like how you did that. Yeah. yeah. That was Rice smooth. Krispies. I yeah. Like no. 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 Rice Krispies. Uh, okay. Gotcha. I like I like the I like the I like I like. Uh, that was a good way out. Granola cereal. Good I like way the granola out. Cereal. Got it. To my right, I got none voice. other than the man, the myth, the legend. Wow. Pablo, a.k.a. Bleak. A.k.a. the wavy seal. Woo. A.k.a. I'm not letting no pussy pass me because I'm a man and I have to do what I have to do. Stay strong. Champs only. Yo, what's good, Bleak? What's good? You're... You're... What's good, man? How was how was the week, fellas? Whew. Week was good, man. Week was, week good. was good. You know, worked a bunch. A lot of training. Shot a couple videos and all that. Yeah. You know? Working, Working. training. Yeah. I see we got our first uh, hate comment. Mm. Hater, I guess. I guess uh, oh, maybe yes, our first a sec- Maybe a second hater, but I mean, we got a we got an Instagram hater in the comments. But, I don't uh, think but they're a hater. No. no it's it's a fan. Hater. It's a, a particular fan. First of all, let's thank yeah, them for I, watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. So thank you for, for watching. Yeah, every time. Thank you. For thank you for watching. Thank you for pulling up. You and always, subscribe. always feel free to comment yeah, and, and tell us what you think. Let us know when we get something wrong. Always. I think you're misunderstood. Or you disagree. This I is a judge-free zone. D- definitely. I think in this case, you're just misunderstood because we are far from... That. Homophobic? We would never be homophobic. No, not at all. Yeah. I'm, there's a, there's a mm-hmm. lot of things that I'm afraid of, but I'm not afraid of... Um, Homosexuals. Yeah, no, no, no. So, Mm. yeah. And I was just confused about personally Mm. uh, Black History Month not being about black history. Yes. I don't know. Hey. Any other month, do your thing. Yeah. Just Black History Month, I felt like should have been about black history. Maybe I'm bugging, but that's just how I feel. And And I don't think that's offensive. Yeah, I man. think that's, just, that's my opinion. March, and nowadays, March we should Madness. be allowed to have opinions. That's what this show is about. It's about yeah. a blunt exchange of opinions. Ain't nothing happening in March, you know? You got March Madness. You got a bunch of other little stuff. Come on. Ain't nothing happening in May. Hey. There you go. May. And it rhymes with gay. Ah. So it could be There happy. we go. Gay, so gay, it could be, be the happiest gay month day. of the year. And then you could pick a day in May and call it gay day. May there you gay go. day. <laughs> Look how fire! Look at look at that. That's soul D five. Hey, May Gay Day. Hey, mm. feel me? It'll be the happiest month of the year. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But I feel like there should be a lot more uh, focus on Black History during Black History Month. That's all. And if I'm wrong for that, I'm wrong for that. I'll die on that hill. Oh, um, okay. Die on it, dog. Let's go. Uh, you guys have anything to say about that, or yeah. just aim, go in. Aim, no, no, talk I, that I, shit, I, uh, I mean, I mean, when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the the person who left the comment, we appreciate the comment. I mean, I like, I don't expect everybody to sh- share the same opinions that one of us or all of us might have, and uh-huh. it's all 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 we try to do is open up a, a platform where people can comment and talk about what they feel. Yes, is their you know like. How it should be for how them. They so, be, uh, however they feel. Their, their perspective, angle, yeah. their angle, all that. However so, they feel. Continue, yeah, talk to us. Please continue to write because I love I w- having conversations. I also wish they would be more like descriptive of what they thought was homophobic right, and why right, they thought right, it was right, homophobic. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Just so we can address directly so address what, you might, what you might have... What uh, the confusion was. Uh, so shout, we didn't give enough... Uh, sh- shout out to uh, 
some of our uh, viewers that hold us down, they they know where we're coming from, and they hold yeah. us down in the comments right back. Shout out to what D was up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out D, how you you know uh, you know. Shout out for that, uh, that, that, that reply. Yeah, yeah. You, know? you said Facts. some shit that we didn't have to say. That was awesome. Facts, yeah. yeah. You made it easy for us. So yeah, um, yeah nah. Yeah, man. I'll piggyback off what you guys said, and yeah, yeah man. I, it's just that's just the way it is. We are here just creating a platform for people to talk that what it is. Talk, they talk. Talk, talk they, they talk, talk keep man. Keep it real. Keep it real. It's not judge-free zone. It's like nowadays, it's like you can't talk anymore. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, we're, we're here to be unfiltered, raw. Blunt. We keep it blunt. funky. Keep it a stack. Keep it a hundred. Hundo. Keep it a thou wow. Thou wow we. You know what I mean? Keep it real. Whatever you, however you call it, we keeping it blunt, man. <coughs> we're nobody, you know what I mean? I'm no, I'm no different from you. Yeah, yeah no. All I'm we want is just. The, I'm chilling right now, smoking a blunt, talking shit with my homies. You do the same thing. Yeah, everybody just wants to be able to hear your hear each other's perspective and, and have a conversation. Whether we ultimately agree at the end of the day is not the goal. It's just understanding. And, and, and being able to, to yeah. have the discussion. Right. Let's have the discussion. Maybe you could put me on to something I didn't understand. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And maybe I could do the same for you. Right. You know what I mean? But we have to be able we have to be open to come to that place that we can even do that. So you're just out of here right after this, aren't right you? Right after this. You're just bouncing. You're just jumping on the plane and you're going. Yeah, there. I'm just going where straight you, to the backyard. Where are you flying from? I'm going, going back, back to DR, DR. Oh, you're flying to DR. You're leaving out of where? Yeah. LaGuardia? Teterboro. No, no. JFK? JFK. Teterboro. New Yorker, bro. What's up? I mean, you know, yeah. people go whatever they can might, get. You might I'll be Newark. flying out I'm of Newark. Saying, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, Newark. That's in Jersey. What about, I'll be flying out of Teterboro. <laughs> I try and fly uh, out of Teterboro every time I can. Every oh, chance yeah, I can. Yeah, the yeah, clear yeah. court. The clear oh. court. That's what the you see, Crumb, we're not there yet, Crumb, my bad. I mean, I'm not one there day, yet. one day, just, just keep I'm working not there hard. Yet. Keep I got to, like, keep check in hard. and stuff like that, you know? So, uh, I got people you, that work at Teterboro. You go, what, what you going out to D, uh, what you going to DR for? Oh, we celebrating our homies B-Day out there. Shout out to Dubs. Facts. My guy. Yeah. Mm. Shout out to everybody Happy headed birthday, out there. Happy birthday, Dubs, Shout friend of the show. Out, out there. Dub work, you've heard his music on various and multiple yeah, episodes. 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 He probably is our most played artist, What my favorite rapper. Mm -hmm. Besides, like Jay Z and a couple other rappers, but he's up there. He's around them. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, and yeah, check his music out. Dub work. Happy birthday! I wish I could be there, but I'm here dropping the blunt exchange. Yeah, and getting we all the blunt exchange ready mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. every week. Every you know I mean? every week. And, um, down for you. and you already know what it is. Pisces season has reached. Turned and y'all don't disrespect me because when it was your birthday, I showed wild love, no negative. I didn't say nothing about mine's coming up. And then when it was your birthday, wild love, I didn't say nothing like, but mine is better. So, did I say anything like that? I'm just saying, I'm just giving you a preamble, like, yo, chill, let me just get through my shit. Yeah. First of all, I didn't say nothing down. negative Shout out happy about Happy birthday to everybody that's a Pisces. Of course, season. we said dub work already. Shout out to, I guess we would begrudgingly give. The cameraman a happy birthday yeah. because look, he's been look, a dick. Look, 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 look. <laughs> All right, happy All birthday. Right. You're on thin ice, Brian. Happy G day. Yeah. You're on thin fucking ice. Let's take a shot though. Um, take the shot. Take the shot real quick for to oh, start off your start off your uh, your um season. Your, trip, your season, Pisces. Start off your season. Oh, respect. Listen, all yeah. I said was that we have to go through these seasons to get to the best season. You which is see season. what I'm, I'm not saying. hating on Pisces. I didn't say what? nothing negative about Pisces season. I didn't say nothing negative because you. I didn't say nothing. Negative. No one provoked you, and you brought up your season and then called it the best. Yeah, you're being disrespectful. Because I guess we never. Well, let, no. you don't have to say nothing like so, that during so, my season. So we're nobody says we're nothing giving the like toast that. to we're giving the toast to birthday to Dubs and birthday to Brian. That's what we're toasting. Yes. No, we're not toasting. No, for, we're not we toasting never toasted to for no any Pisces. other season. Yeah, no. Introduction for yes, any other season. No, so we're exactly. going to show respect. Yes. And just say. Yes. Shout. Shouts for their birthday. Yes. Toast of Pisces season. Shout out to the shout out to Sagittarius season coming up. So. Shout out to everybody. Oh, shout out to Scorpio. Sag Scorpio season Sagittarius. Best season. Shout out, you see how y'all think it's disrespectful? Exactly. So stop shout this out to every, shit. Shout out to everybody who's a Pisces. You know who you are. Shout out to everybody. Happy birthday to us, Shout out right? to everybody. Shout out to our peoples who just had their birthdays during the month of March or the end of February. You already know. Yo, man. Holla at your Happy boy. birthday, man. Happy birthday. Uh, is there any shout out to all the dead niggas? Uh, as we drink the licks. Dead or in jail. Um, dead or in jail, niggas. But only the stand-up ones, not the pieces of shit. Who 
a word of the day. Word, word of the day. Word of the day. Word of you the day. You asked for it, we got it. Word, word of the day. Of the, day. the word of the day today is obfuscate. 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 Yo, are you making these got words it. up, yo? Obfuscate. No. Obfuscate. Let's these go. These are words, man. All right. So, yeah. obfuscate means it sounds something like. like Obfuscate. It sounds like it's telling somebody what to do or something like that in that realm. Like, obfuscate. Can we can we get it in a sentence? Yeah, you can get it in a sentence. You know what I mean? For all the listeners. Yeah, for the <laughs> listeners' sake. It not is for mo- us. <laughs> it's not for you guys. <laughs> not for us. It's more likely to obfuscate people than mm-hmm. enlighten them. Oh, to hold uh, back. To um. To hold back. To hold back. back. To hold back. To brush off. Like to like to like scoff at like. Mm. Something like that. I feel like both of y'all are right there. Like y'all are right on it. You hold back, yeah, yeah. But and to brush off, yeah. Like to like to like not even validate. Like you guys are there. So the def I would give it, but I would give it to both of you. To be honest. Okay. Okay. The definition of obfuscate. It's a verb. Mm -hmm. It's to render obscure. Unclear or unintelligible. Oh, to cloudy, Ooh. to fuck up, fake yeah, news. Yeah, to like bewilder, mystify, mm. puzzle. Those are similar words. Fake to news. Misdirection. To confused, yes. Yeah, misdirection. So y'all both, y'all both got it right again. Look oh, at y'all, yeah, man. Y'all know man. these words. What's going on? Nah. Y'all been reading? I did my Google. So the pressure, you been reading? I've been reading. Y'all been reading. I've been reading. You be putting the pressure. Obfuscate. So obfuscate is to cloudy a judge. Yeah. Like <coughs> Corona. We don't drink uh, Coronas. Like, cough out a Corona bottle, like. Yeah, we don't drink Coronas. I'm just gonna fly off the screen. But sure, we don't drink Coronas. So and you're black. Yeah. Yeah. It's big. It's the, I this mean, is all misinformation. Yeah, this is this, this is true. This is, Right. This is the this is just because um, you're black doesn't mean you won't get the coronavirus. This is the fucking word. Of These the are day. jokes. These if you haven't, the but there's only three. You can see that only, one of our categories is humor. Africa, this is though. jokes. There's only three cases in Africa, and it's for the fact that it's so close. They're like, yo, that's crazy. Yeah, huh? right? Gee, that was they the word. That was the word cases. of the day. That statement right there. Obfuscate. So, can I ask y'all a question? Have y'all? Did you see black what happened with um? Black people don't um. Black people don't get. They don't get the coronavirus. You dig? Yeah, it's like yo, black people just go chill. Chill. Oh, Yo, you good? You're not yeah, gonna get the coronavirus. How bad are they? Look how bad they are. They how are they telling black people they ain't not. That they're they're you know what I mean? they're immune to it so they can go over there and fuck around and Damn, die and die. Damn, that's. And then ridiculous. they can take their land and resources. Yo, the mind fuck is insane. But you know what they'll call that? A white lie. Yeah, ah, I see what you did there. You like that, huh? I see what you that's did. That's what my nigga did. Yeah, that's what you did. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, man. That's probably the real meaning of a white lie. <laughs> that's what they do every time. They do some shit. Yo, that's need, a white lie. I need hey. all the like, oh shit, all the hotep, like memes, like. <laughs> Yo, shout out Dr. Omar me. Johnson. Yo, oh, he is God. top five oh, funniest, funniest people on the internet. Dr. The funniest thing on the planet. Johnson Definitely is the funniest. Pan Africanism. Major hype. Major. Dr. Right? Umar Johnson. Oh I'm gonna do only do. Only do Dr. Umar Johnson is yes. one of the funniest niggas on the internet. Pan African. That shit is. Yo, bro, his videos are gold. Gold. It's a gold Donations. Bro. Donations. He's like talking on the phone. He's like, yo, don't worry, bro. I got him. I got him. And then his mm. phone rings his while, phone he's, rang. while he's faking the oh. phone call. Like, boop. Oh. He started a flip phone. Yo. Yo, yo have you ever been, like, on the phone talking shit? Yeah. Like, or and they call you? And then uh, you actually get a call, so, yeah. like, it exposes everything. Has that ever happened to you? Like, mm-hmm. you do what you nah. Yo, matter of fact... Hold on, hold bitch. On, on. You talking that shit? <laughs> yeah, shorty. You want me to come through and dick you down right now? Oh. Oh, man. Oh. My bad. Yo, he's hold a Hold on. Nah, my phone be bugging. You already know. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. call, call you later, bitch. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Umar Johnson's mad funny. Dr. Umar Johnson, top five. Top funniest five. niggas on the internet. And I don't even think he means to be. Yeah. Or if he does, he's good. So, uh, could I ask y'all a question about something I saw on the internet this week? What did you see on the internet this week? Uh-oh. Even though I heard a rumor before you go forward that oh. Dr. Umar Johnson is dating Jill Scott. Oh, my oh. God. That was one of those unreliable rumors, oh. but it was just funny because if that's true, then one of the funniest memes ever yeah. will be even more 
It will take it to another level. Donations. Donations. Yeah. Donations. Premature. Donations. Donations. You hear me? Donations. The NBA is suspect. Suspect. <laughs> the CBA CIA created feminism. No, no, no. Feminism <laughs> was created by the CIA. You dig? And then you got to repeat it. Feminism was created by the CIA. You got to understand that the gods met in heaven and came down and gave me my name. Mm. Go dig up your ancestors. Yo, doctor, shout out to Dr. Umar Johnson. Donations. You're the man. Um, like, how committed you are to your shit? Like, like, like he'll be, he'll that. be dead, like... And like, educated dead, dead, like, Holocaust. Bullshit, and he'll be like, no. And special ed. No. And the education did, did Holocaust. He, did he open up a school yet? Did he open up a school yet? <laughs> I think, I thought he opened up a school. I, it's it's African- all bad, right? <laughs> I thought he opened up a, a homeless shelter. Uh-huh. I thought he opened up a, a homeless shelter and he's getting it rocking. It's probably yeah. Donations. He's been accused, uh, accused of pimping and all kinds of yeah. shit. Like, my brothers, my sisters. Like his, all right, let me let me ask y'all something. Let me ask y'all something. I know you could only send me ten dollars, but next time send me twenty. You did. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I know sister. That's all, I know that's all you had. <laughs> I know that's all you had. I don't. I don't know that's all you had, sister. But, but send, send me twenty, 20 next, next time, time, shorty. Donations. Doctor Umar Johnson, the nerve, <laughs> asking. Let me get off Dr. Umar Johnson. Let's get off this. Before I get tight. Before I get tight. Before I get tight. We don't want Crump to get tight. Yo, yo, chill, chill, chill. So uh, I saw this week that Eva uh, Eva Marcel um, of Real Housewives of Atlanta, and Mm -hmm. um, she was formerly of America's Next Top Model. She uh, has a child with Kevin McCall, uh, artist and singer and writer. Um, and she recent and she got she got remar- she got remarried re- uh, not so long ago. She's a picture. Yeah. She's pretty, yeah. man. Like yeah, she's yeah, got yeah. a bunch of short hair, the short hair with a okay. little, little slim joint. Yeah. yeah, she was mad one. pretty, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I thought um, I thought she was pretty. I liked her a lot. Yeah. So we, we I have something to talk about a little, a little bit when it comes to her. Okay. When it comes okay. to short hair. Okay. Gotcha, but gotcha. um, so ultimately she changed her she legally changed her daughter's last name yeah. to her new husband's last name when Kevin McCall has been when her and Kevin McCall have for the last couple of years have been uh, co-parenting and battling in and out of court for custody and custody rights and stuff like that. And um, it's just crazy that uh, I know she's been calling. I know she consistently calls him crazy and stuff like that, which to discredit. discredits his yeah. name and stuff like that. But I don't think that, in my opinion, I don't think that's really fair that she legally changed her daughter's last name to the new uh, hu- name? to the new husband's husband, last husband, name, husband. while the father is still actively trying to be in his life. He's still in the picture. So, yeah. I just wanted to toss that up to y'all, see what y'all thought. G, you wanna? Know I mean. Okay, so I feel like what you're trying to say, you're just tossing it up, like, no. yeah, a, what, I, or is it more like, is that acceptable? How do you feel? Is that cool? I don't think that's cool. Like personally, if you're asking me, right, I would be very, very hot over that. Like, I'm not letting that happen. I think because so. why would you change? Even though it's my little girl and she's eventually, she's eventually gonna get married, right? She's gonna, but. Why would you change her last name just because you're going into? She's still our daughter, my daughter. Right. Yes. There's no need to change her last name. To be fair, I understand the other side of it, but it would depend, honestly, to me, on the age of the child. And then it's a fight. Wow. Then I would want at least a hyphen. There's got to be some kind of compromise for me. Um, <clears throat> I think this is a psychological warfare. Between mm. this late, uh, what's her name? Eva, Eva Marcel. Between Eva and her ex-husband, Kevin. Mc- Kevin. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they were. I don't know if they were out, um, ever married, but the the father of the child. Yeah, the father of the child. Well, yeah, psychological war. Yeah, because for you to for the for the mother to take that step in changing her um five year old's um name last name, you know, it might seem normal, right? Because at the end of the day, it's just a name, right? So it seems normal on paper. What comes behind it, it's comes definitely it, yeah. yeah, it's definitely more detailed. It's like invalidating, it's the invalidating father something. As the father. So, if if he is truly trying to be in her in his daughter's life, and she's the one that's trying to, you know, erase him, 
she definitely has, I'm sure, obviously she has the, the system on her side, right? There's got to be some type of paperwork that right. allows her to do this without his consent. They, they normally take the woman's side. Yeah. yeah, that's another thing that we're always talking about, double standards. Right. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of double standards in the legal system when it comes to men and uh, male and female. No. And we can definitely get into that, it, you know, Sometimes we should get serious, I guess. Yeah. And give information and But this could be a prime example in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, you have you you continue with this. Oh yeah. So basically, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Like to finish that, definitely it's like some different kind of to because I mean the daughter's five years old, she don't know what's best. At this point she could be easily mm -hmm. you know, maybe she does like the the the, the stepdad. Maybe her the way you know you don't know exactly how no, that man, five year old she's gonna, thinks. She's gonna say yes to everything exactly. mommy she's asked her to say, say yes yeah. to, and when she goes to daddy's house, she's gonna say yes to everything daddy wants exactly. to do. Exactly, like she's just happy to be here, and she's gonna she's say just yes. she's just um she's just there. She's just yeah, piece she's of the baby. warfare. Like she's just a pawn, know, a pawn basically mm -hmm. in this, and yeah. that's why it's so unfortunate. Well, very unfortunate for that yeah. for that child, and that her you know that their parents are going through this, and she's the actually like the one that's. Gonna feel all dusty of this. shit goes in the inside the dusty shit. So, yeah. I, and if I'm the dad, I'm highly upset. Obviously, if I'm trying to still be involved, mm -hmm. because why would you do that? It's whack that you have no way, like you can't even but the, do anything. But the man if in that, the system has no. That's crazy. We don't really have. Isn't a lot. that crazy? Shouldn't that be a decision yeah. that we both make, especially that the child is already named this way? Yeah. Like so we should both have that's so to me that's so crazy. Yeah. She had she, even if right? she was that feels a wrong. Am I wrong? Or right. a it feels so it feels like so messed that. up. It feels when, when, like when, have when, no when, options. when legally you feel like as a father you have no rights or your rights you feel like your your claims it's not that you don't have rights are invalidated very, because like you're a man against like you know. Mm. Mm. Yeah. No, that's what it is. It's not that you don't have rights. It's just that the rights that you have are very very. Limited. Limited. Very, very limited, and for you to prove them you against go, them, yeah, it has to, to be never, yeah, level. Over Even and above she could be a shit. deadbeat crackhead living in a dungeon. You could take pictures and all that, and it still gotta be beyond that. It's gotta be something like incredible. Yeah, she like, like shot the baby up. Yeah, crack. and then okay, <laughs> you know, she wouldn't have done baby. that. But you know, huh? she wouldn't have done that. She would have fed the the crack through the yeah. The teeth. It, it gets yeah, really bad. She just did the crack, and when it comes to that, those kind of she fed it, it's dicey. Um. Yeah. That so was indeed, that was dark. We it's went dark it, right it's there. just yeah. That's so no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's yeah, just whack. Like when, like you feel like you feel like you as a father can't father like. Like you're, you're, yeah, that's, that's you're, deep. They're that's taking, deep right they're there. taking, they're taking, Some they're taking it deep. away from you. It's just, it's just trash. Yeah. yeah. Like, what if your baby mom's just like wants to break up with you out of nowhere? And just go live with some next nigga and let the baby call uh, him daddy. Like, the baby's little still, like, two or three years old. Like, how do you even handle that? Because they have... I feel like she has all the right to do that. No, no, no. You can't leave the state until, unless... You can't leave the state. You have to have some kind of agreement. You know what I think it is? I think it's a bigger subject that uh, men ain't having, which are... They're not taking the time and they're either like depositing their 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 funds in the wrong bank like they're not taking the time to decide which is the right bank to go to 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 to, to, to open an account in if i understand you correctly yeah. i think you're talking about busting nuts and bitches yes that's a, that is, that okay is, that's oh you were herb, trying to that's the street way oh, oh okay oh you're trying to say it a different way. my fault uh, I no i don't talking, care no. i just thought you was, no, I just thought we hit both we hit both we hit both i just thought you were talking about coming inside of females yeah, yeah i be I, I think a lot of day a lot of times men are just they're just they're just act they're just like carelessly like Nutting and shorties or depositing. I think there's a deposits. percentage of men that are doing and that. And then they and then they and find think, out yeah, they, they, they really get to know like they, they they the time where they should be learning about the woman that they're dealing with, especially if you're gonna be coming inside them raw without condoms. Like yeah. especially that. Especially that. They're learning they're learning about they're learning Yo. about the person who's gonna Yo. be the mother of their child when they're going through like like the pregnancy phase and aren't there like um, like their hormones and like shit going crazy already so it's not yeah. even really like a true version of them it's like a crazy crazy version yeah. 
Okay, and so, like, I, like, I just think that, like, some men who wind up having the crazy, crazy baby moms mm-hmm. be like, yo, man, why didn't you take the time out to find <laughs> out she was crazy? Like, are you yo, a, are listen, you that man. much of a bird yo, that you need to come in yo, this chill, joint the first chill. time you meet her, mm-hmm. yo? Get him, crumb. Like, chill. real talk. Like, nah, chill. That is real talk. Chill, chill, chill. No, you see, maybe I'm nah. bugging. No, no, no. I, don't I feel think like so. that's a very small percentage. Of very small? Percentage For real? Of the wow. baby no. fathers. Nah, I be thinking that's, mm. I think mad dudes, <laughs> all, all the dudes who be going through wild, crazy baby mama drama. Go ahead. Mad oh. of them be like, yeah. it's because they don't yeah, be like. I can't take they it, never yo. did the research. They never did the I research. Can't take it. They never did the research. They because it was, the whole it was, facts. They never because it was a drug night. the whole facts? Yeah, they didn't get the whole facts. Call around. Get your whole facts. You mess with a joint, call around, get the whole facts. Yeah, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. They always tell you to get the whole facts. Yeah, find out what's going on. Kick the tires. Mm -hmm. Take it on a test drive. (laughs) Check it on a test drive. I can't believe I got you to say that. I mean, we'll take that out. Oh! (laughs) Nah, obviously obviously niggas ain't pulling out. They're not. Yeah. You know you can can get pregnant off pre-cum, right? That's what they told us in fifth grade. Right? Yeah. I seen a bitch say so on the internet the other day. Pre cum is just niggas getting wet. I've heard. Yeah, obviously. That's just a nigga getting wet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen that. That was mad funny. That <laughs> yeah. was mad funny. <laughs> niggas mad crazy. funny. You like that? Yeah, that was mad. Like, yo, whoever whoever created that meme was <laughs> mad funny. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I heard when dudes pre cum, it's because they're wet. It's because they're mad wet. Mad funny. Yeah. Mad funny. Right, so, what do y'all, what do y'all, so, what do y'all think about what I'm saying? What are you saying, my good man? I mean, like niggas I is, is niggas is irresponsible. That's what he yeah, said. like I th- do I think your I, whole facts. I think a lot of dudes. I do think, your okay, research. Okay. Ultimately, what I'm saying. Ultimately, what I'm saying is. Ultimately, what I think. I think what I'm saying but is. But I got this. I'm a G though. I think. I think ultimately. Real talk, watch this. I think ultimately, a lot of dudes be like thinking about the immediate, yeah. na- the, the 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 present, but not thinking about the future when it comes to. Like what they did. Like not every bo- not everybody's a good body, yo. Sometimes it's better to just keep it light, yo. There you go. I respect that, Crump. Not everybody is a yeah. good crazy. Nah, I respect that though. That's but fire. That's just that's the true, women. and that's true. Not everybody quantity, is a good quality body. Quality over quantity. Respect. Respect. Okay. I mean, I'm I, a, I guess that. I'm a loser. No, no, you're that's not. not loser shit. I guess I'm a loser. That's definitely not loser shit. Oh. But I feel like you think that. Every time that someone gets pregnant, it was niggas just wilding out. No. I'm wilding no. out. No. No. No condom, and I'm nothing in your raw, baby. Mm. I don't give a... What's your name? I don't give a fuck. I'm nothing in your raw. No. Oh, I'm, because no, that's no. how I'm doing no, it. No, no, no. I'm not Sometimes saying... No, I'm not saying that. Crazy. I'm not saying that. I'm saying... But I'm saying it's the times where... It'd be mistaken, does like, some of things are happening. <laughs> a little things are happening. <laughs> it's a piece of pie, yeah. Uh. <laughs> this is crazy. Miss Scoozy. Scoozy, Scoozy. Miss Scoozy, Miss Scoozy. Miss Scoozy, Miss Scoozy. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't, like, like, yo... I feel that. I'm talking I'm not talking about a I'm not talking about when a guy's been talking or dealing with a shorty for some no. time. I'm talking about when it's like <laughs> Yo, bro, shorty got pregnant. <laughs> And you're like, ugh. I'm like, yo, man, what are you doing? You what are you doing? Out. Yeah, man. I know of people right. that have like two or three women pregnant at the same time. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. So And they're doing the dance. Uh, so let me say, so then obviously the self-control, right? right? Huh? You're self-control, right? Um, yeah. So basically talk about moment, it, Bleak. No, no, talk no, no, no. about it. It's not that. It's not that. It's just at that moment in time where you have to make that decision to pull out and you don't. Self control is obviously. Yeah, you have no right? self control. You're but a kid. But you're being peer pressure. You're just like, oh, it feels great. Exactly. You're peer. You're being. That's peer you pressure. You guys sound like virgins because <laughs> it's not virgins. I'm just saying he's talking about having responsibility at that moment when you are about to. But you, Most of the time, what do you do? You're peer pressured by the wetness and the and the hotness uh, of, of that P U S S Y, right? So it's it's never that easy. It's never been easy. That's what we're that's what we're here today. 
That's why there's so many of us. Listen, it's that's never why been there's the easy. coronavirus. It's never been easy, but at the same point in time, a real nigga knows you can nut in your bitch mad times and yeah. she's not going to get pregnant. We're not talking about your shorty. No. See, that's that's you talking you, about the irresponsible. Yeah, I'm ones. talking about the irresponsible, the, the yeah, irresponsible yeah. stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm talking about the people who are. But I don't think that's too many of them niggas. I'm talking like, about yeah, those yeah, people yeah, are yeah. Irresp- irresponsible. That's but like 15 percent. I mean, I'm I'm talking about them though. <laughs> okay. I'm you heard we're concentrating. I'm concentrating we're con- on we're focusing them. Focusing on the, these crazy niggas. Yeah, the one. The, yeah, like when, the ones who d- be like, "Yo, man, my baby mama is crazy." It's like, nah, no, nah, dog. You didn't do your research. But she's still crazy. But yeah, if you, you would have done your research, research you wouldn't have had the baby. Yeah. You wouldn't have so you wouldn't even you would have stopped so messing with her. Now exactly. you're gonna give her the path when I'm the victim. No, you're the victim of choice. Yeah, you, you chose, chose that. you chose to be a victim. I didn't You came unprepared to the fight. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait. You came unprepared to the fight. What right? was the what was the fight? You came unprepared to the fight. You didn't come through with the You didn't come through. You didn't come through with the protection. So you came into war. With no protection. Yeah, so you, you just showed up. up. The king showed up with nobody there. You just the me? king. Nah, bro. I got that big That's sword, you, got you heard? And you got slain. Sword game but crazy, But check out the crazy cycle of now that, you got, right? Now you got so the now 18, you got inres- next 18 years to, 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 to worry about that. Uh... Irresponsible choice. And I make a prince. But hold on, Crump. Or a princess. Look look at this crazy cycle, to right? Take the, the kingdom to the next and, level, and your, you heard? queen is crazy. Hmm. But I still love her, though, because that's my queen, you heard? Oh, that's your queen. Oh shit. She's having my baby. She's my queen. Even Until if she's crazy. She start, if she, the, what's crazy? What do you mean by crazy? Like, cause, cause, cause you, you, you'll still be a family because like y'all have the connection between the baby, but y'all don't have to stay together, right? So does she have to be your queen? She's a queen. I, I know she's a queen. She's a queen because before she she was a queen before she met you. So that's nah, not that's not even yeah, a play I, now. So we're not interested. She's in that. a queen. She. Carried my child. Uh huh. So what about so so that means that she could act however she wants after that, and she's still a queen. Yeah, but no, no. I, I'm sorry, G. I can't accept the queen thing. Talk to him, Blake. No, I can't because I know what he's trying to say with the queen. But obviously, if she's crazy, that's not your queen. It's just the way it works, bro. I need to be around my child. I know you do, but it's like he said, it was an irresponsible move done to a girl that you don't know what came. If she came from an already irresponsible choice, yeah, you understand? You don't know what, you don't know what kind that's of the, like, that's the that's the worst cycle. Know, that's you don't the even cycle know what kind of decision making capability she got exactly. to raise your kids. Like she's over here, like you don't even it's know what she's like. Rap. She's like, yeah, I want them to drink fucking Kool Aid and eat like little Debbie's for every night. Yeah, she and you're might like, them, where does this come from? She might let them eat ice cream for breakfast. That's out of control. If you would have done your research, you wouldn't be in a position with a woman that does such things. She might let them eat red vines. Exactly. Is what I'm that's what I'm saying. What if she was a, a the seed of an irresponsible choice herself? You understand? So now you come along and you put you place another irresponsible choice on top of that woman. And then that's and what the you cycle read. continues. And the cycle but continues. How do you break it? By not doing that. But what if you already By did doing it? the research. What if you already did it? Exactly. Exactly. What about, you already did what, it. You did it. Yeah, we know that. But we're trying to. The cycle continues. It's called preventative care. That's you what, what I mean? the United. That's what America likes to. That's what we do over here. Preventative. Yeah, that's what we do. America that's what we do, right? Isn't that what, that's what we do. That's what we pay. That's what no, we actually, do. that's last. We do. We go everywhere and we make sure we're everywhere, so it doesn't come to where we live, and that's the most important shit. Yeah. Okay. So, baby. can I ask y'all another question? Of yeah, course. Go ahead. Like get some. Let's get topics. We did one topic. A fake ass or a flat ass. Okay, so what would I rather choose? A fat ass or I mean a or fake ass or flat ass? Fake ass or flat ass? Fake or, ass or or flat flat ass. It's the what double is, F. How how is like what's flat? Like I need the definition of flat. Like what is a flat ass? A flat ass is an ass that is from the side as straight as the front. Like is a Miley Cyrus ass? ass. Does it go in? It goes like a, in a Miley little Cyrus little ass. In? It owes bit. ass? Oh, nah. If it owes ass, nah. Oh, nah, chill. I can't do it if it owes ass. Yeah, that kind of ass. Yeah, for, uh, it has to be, it's a, it's a semi-concaving ass. 
But oh it's, my god, a semi concave ass. Yeah, and no, a, and a and a no, and a semi and a semi ridiculously f- uh, fake ass. And how f- okay, semi fake ridiculous. Yeah. So what's that like? Like like she like, has like the skinny fat ass legs with no thighs. Yeah, she has no thighs and she has oh like that a bug's life joint. Like it looks like a ant. Wow, that kind. Yeah. Or the concaving crazy. Or the concaving. But she could still be mad fucking pretty, I mean, they're right? both beautiful. They're both beautiful? Yeah. Damn. In the face. That means the one with the fake ass could be, like, amazing. Yeah. She's got, in certain angles, she's, like, unstoppable. Exactly, yeah. 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 But, I mean, from the front, like, from straight on with the, with the flat butt, it looks like she has the hips. She looks like she has the fatty, but when she turns to the side, it's flat. You can see it from flat. the front. Because she has the hips. You know what I mean? The, the the one with the fake butt doesn't have the hips. You can't she see just it. has the butt. You can see it from the and side. And the one that has the no butt has the hips you and no ass. You can see it from the front. It's just flat. I, 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 look, <coughs> first of all, first of all, first Corona of all. Coronavirus. Corona. Corona. I don't drink Coronas. We don't drink Coronas. You do. But first of all, <laughs> this uh, it says flat asses versus fake asses. Mm-hmm. And two Fs. Who wants two negatives? Nobody wants two negatives. But I'm going to take the flat ass because we can work it in. Because I can go to one of these IG models. They always have like an eight-week get your booty up. like Booty aerobics. Booty aerobics. And it works. And we can get that done. Ass aerobics. There we go. And if anything, at that point, maybe we'll get to a little fat transfer. You know what I mean? Let's take the gut out, put it at the back. Now you got butt. Gut in the butt. Yep. Gut in the butt. Fake butt or flat butt? <laughs> <coughs> it's like, how crazy do I want to go with this topic right here? Yeah, as long as we're not body shaming, right? No, I'm never body shaming. You exactly. know me, 2020 year of the woman. I love you. I'm here for you, women. Facts. I'm trying to use your perspective. I talk to y'all. Engage. Talk to me. I would reach out and touch yeah. the pulse of mm-hmm. y'all. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. You feel me? A thousand. I'm behind yeah. you. Um, I'm behind you and everything he said. I'm here for you, ladies. 2020, year of the woman. One thousand. We could use some of that. Something there was good. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, I think that I usually want to say natural <coughs> is the way. I don't, you don't need to change anything about yourself. You're exactly. beautiful the way you are. Yes. And I respect you. Obviously. But there's people like Mad Gal Chris. <clears throat> there's people on the internet mm-hmm. that are just... What? Sometimes the work looks good, man. Sometimes you can pull it off. So if it's one of those joints, if you're saying fake ass but it's semi-ridiculous, but they pulled it off... No, they have no thighs. But they pulled it off... The no thighs, at certain angles, it still looks crazy, daddies. Crazy. Yeah, but like certain angles, it looks also the other crazy. It might look yeah, crazy fire in some angles, wild, but it also you know? look crazy That's fast. trash. You got to know your angles, though. Know Listen, the angles. Man. You got to know your angles. All right, so let me ask you at another any question. Point, I'm sorry, uh, one more thing. No, no, one talk, more thing. Yeah. One, as, at any point that we can honestly, honestly encourage women to stop this shit, dead eyes. Stop what shit? To stop the fake, bo- the, the implants. I really think, like, really, just stop the implants. Just stop it. Like titty implants? Stop all the implants. There's no need for it, man. Listen, just stop man, it, man, I'm not here I to understand. tell women what to do with their bodies. I'm women, neither am I. If neither you want to get tits, get, get tits. Get um, Yes, if tits you want to fi- do whatever you tits want, are fire. free will, independence. Right? No, This is the tits year of the woman. Yeah. This is the year of the... Entrepreneur woman, the boss. I get it, but women are all those things. This is just bosses. All this that. is just advice okay. coming from the other side of from of the species. From Mr. B, from Mr. B himself, Listen. and Mr. B's opinions do not reflect the rest of the opinions of Blood Exchange, but it is Blood Exchange. Yeah, let him read that at the bottom. Bleak's words. Bleak. I'm get him. I'm just saying, fuck the implants. All around. Yo, so let me, ask, let me ask you this. Let me ask you though, this. Right? Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Yeah. So fake. So all right. So you have to pick one. Mm-hmm. Fake boobs, real ass, real tits, fake what ass. What I'm saying. You have to pick one. Fake boobs or fake ass? Fake boobs, 
Fake boobs, real ass. Fake boobs, real ass. Uh huh. Or fake ass, real. Because I can, I've yeah. seen fake boobs done well, like, like amazing. Um, Obviously, we've well seen all done. of it done well. Yeah. <laughs> a well done. I need. Yeah, I'd rather the the real butt. I tip my hat to the to the surgeon. And much appreciated. Damn, you know. uh, come in into the chef. <laughs> like, bellissimo. This is a tough one. Delicioso. What's tough? This court. This this is a tough. Because okay. I don't like either. It's good to get a good yoga. Little tits, no ass. But, but she pretty as fuck. Little tits, no ass. But she pretty as fuck. Mmm. Little tits and no ass. Mm-hmm. But she dumb pretty. Yeah, I'll take that. I like those. I've had those before. You, you like the muscular joints? The joints that look like they're like the ones that that look like they work out. It just depends how defined it is. Yo, why are you trying it's, to disrespect It just depends me, on the yo. definition, really. How am I trying to disrespect you? What you say, Bleak? It's just, it depends on the definition. Okay, like it can't be too defined. Yeah, that's too defined. Still be a little soft. Mm-hmm. You got some. Yeah. Def, you got some. Uh, so you can't have a pretty woman with an eight pack. If it's a visible eight pack, like it's a strong cut, defined eight pack. No, I'm okay. I'll take a step back on that. That's okay. That's what? Not, but she's pretty but, AF. But it's not in my league. Hashtag pretty AF. It's not in my league. It's okay. She could bench more than you. That's fine. She's not in my league. She could bench more than you. Not respect. That's her. What, obviously, she's not in my league now. I gotta work. You know, I gotta work up to that. I'll not, get there. Not though. smashing. You gonna let that pussy pass you? <laughs> she's like yo, bleak. Ride that. I, work out with me, aka work out you know, with me. You heard me? You know, G. She's out. Of, you know, she's out of my league. Okay. She's too, <coughs> she's too strong for you. <coughs> in. Crump? You know, in some uh, in some way, I guess. What was the question? You, could you date a strong woman? Oh, yeah. Like, she can't be stronger than me, but she can be strong. No, but she's up there. Like, she No, but I'm pretty her. strong. That's why she can't be up there. No, she's nah, like, what are you, like 6'4"? I'm 6'5". Yeah, I don't know what the fuck they talking about. They have to be fit. They can't be wild muscular. Not too muscular. No. I'm down with the muscular. There's a couple muscular joints that... I feel like are underrated. I wouldn't call them, the, I think the joints you're talking about, I wouldn't even consider muscular joints. I think they have muscles, but they're not muscular joints. They're not, they wouldn't ever be confused as men. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. I think muscular joints can be confused like. Oh, so to you, the word muscular for female means confused as men. Like, 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 so, it's so yeah, much muscle mass. I don't want anything confused as a man. All okay. right. So I agree with you there. No, nah, there's, there's, um, there's, there seems to be this stigma, right? Okay, Where, talk to him. Okay. Where they say that there's no such thing as ugly, successful men. You know? Like how Hove said, you know, I'm a billionaire, I'm pretty. Yeah. Like, not pretty, but, you know, I'm good looking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not only because I'm me, but because of my money as well. You think that's what so, he's saying right there? No, yeah, that's a double entendre. Oh, but that's, what, that's the angle you're taking right now. Yeah, that's the angle I'm taking. I, I agree that money makes you look past a lot of things and a lot of people that are like considered to me it's so funny like a lot of people that are considered beautiful or glamorous or amazing or so super talented yeah if they didn't have money and look the same as like you know what maybe i'm hating i'm not gonna do it well no you're not hating don't don't confuse that free Free space people people use hate people use hate for anything these days look at this dude i don't want to i'm not gonna say names but look at this dude if Mm -hmm. he didn't have X, Y, and Z. Seventy-five million dollars mm-hmm. from three movies. Is he? Do you think any no, no, no. I think that's love? too. That's too. That's Are not reachable. Serious? That's not reachable. We Are can't you go even go that far. What do you think, Grump? Right to go that far. That seventy-five million. No, no. We're, let's keep I'm, it like. I, I saw this. Uh, I saw a video online where this woman was talking about how uh, she was so disgusted that uh, quote, uh, successful quote unquote ugly men were treating women bad, and her example was. Uh, um, what is his name? Uh, from the redhead singer dude from uh, England, Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran yeah. She was, her example was Ed Sheeran. Uh, Taylor Swift took Ed Sheeran on tour, and Ed Sheeran had sex with all Taylor her. Taylor Swift. He swizzled. Yeah, like years ago when mm-hmm. she, when he was first getting on. Oh, okay. She took him on tour, and um, when he first had his first set of hits, she took him on tour, 
and all her friends are like super Victoria's Secret Victoria's Secret supermodels mm-hmm. and he like smashed all of her, all of her friends and didn't yeah. them back and she was like yo oh, I'm so disgusted that uh, nah, he was a- these successful ugly men are treating these women bad <laughs> nah, when um wow what is treating them bad smashing them out is treating them bad man she's like yo that's what you, you're you, supposed to do you're not so like am I wrong I mean, if that's what they're offering is their looks, and he's offering the fame. I just I think mean, that I don't, he I took... Think but smashing equal. them out is what you're supposed to do, right? I, I think everybody just yeah. took, in, you know, <laughs> yeah, chat, like what, took advantage of the what, opportunity. So but, but where is the, the harm? Where was the negative? Mm-hmm. That he ghosted them afterwards. But, oh, but he's ugly. Oh, he's oh, he, he had no right illusion. to do that. He's ugly. He's, it's, it's an illusion being... Invo- there's an illusion involved. Oh, because he's ugly. Mm-hmm. He shouldn't. How dare he? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. It's the illusion. Listen, man. Ugly niggas. Respect. I'm you one of them. Me? I walked that line. You feel me? Stand I walked up, that man. line. Fuck all this bullshit. Yo, you do whatever the you fuck know? you want to do. Uh, man. Some up. of us can't rely on looks. You, you know me? what I mean? We gotta rely on other things. On the talent. You know talent, I mean? money. You gotta rely on everything game. else. Ugly niggas, stand up. Fuck you. Feel me? Yeah. I'm ugly talent, boy. which is voice, art. Mm-hmm. Because if you can sing, you got the panties. If you can draw, you got the panties. If you can make them laugh. If you can rap, you got the panties. If you can make them laugh, you got the panties. And if you can knock a nigga out, you got the panties. But then that's, that's, is that a talent? To knock yeah. niggas out? That's knocking a talent. Knocking niggas out is a talent. Man. Like, so then, you can yeah, just yeah. do that. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's a talent. Yeah. Deontay. <clears throat> oh, oh, wow. My bad. Yeah. Tyson. My fault. Oh. My fault. Oh, okay. shit. Um, so. All right, let's move on then, right? That was crazy. That was good. I think that was nice, right? Yeah. Facts. Uh, Spike Lee and Dolan. Go ahead. Who wants to go first on this? I mean, he got the. Uh, just run through it quick. Uh, so did they really kick it, him out? No, no, no. What happened? Mike's What's going be, on with no, Spike no, no, Lee? I have a lot. Okay, go ahead. You really? Yeah. Give it to me. First of all, what happened? Did Spike Lee get kicked out of the garden, yes or no? Spike Lee did not get kicked out of the garden. Did Spike Lee get kicked out of the garden? I, th- I don't think so. No. I don't know. Spike Lee did not get kicked out of the garden. Okay, Spike Lee walked in. What do you in. have for this? Tell me. Spike Lee walked in into the entrance, employee entrance that he usually walks into for the past 20 plus years. You dig? And as of last week, sometime, they changed the law on him, and he was not the aware policy. of it. The policy. Pro- protocol. protocol. They chose the protocol where he couldn't walk in there now. He was addressed at the elevator to be to walk out of the elevator. He did not because he is Spike Lee. Then they met him on the fifth floor, the entrance of the garden, and they escorted him out of the elevator as if he, like he said, as if he had stolen something from Macy's. And then they uh, came up with another idea to walk him to some other side and then walk him to, to the game. And then James Dolan walked across like he always does, halftime, didn't shake his hand, but told him that, um, we have to talk. Spike Lee said he had nothing to say to him. Then he said, well, now you know. The policy was changed. You didn't know, and I changed it on you. So, to be honest with you, Spike Lee, yeah, you didn't deserve that. Yeah, you're the biggest fan of the Knicks. Yeah, and all of that. But for 20 plus years, we've sucked, and you sat there, and you continue to pay this man to treat you like this. Just like he did to Charles Oakley. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry, and every single other person that keeps going to the garden. This nigga's you, making salient points. You, sh- you should have stopped going to the garden many, many years ago. You don't want the man to be the owner, then you take the power away, which is you. You see, us as customers, we don't understand the power that we have. They're going to always be there. It's big corporations. Exactly. It's so people. you can't They're complain. The money for the, the I'm tickets. sorry. They're pay so then they Spike pay Lee, just to you can't be complain. in New York, in the garden. Watching NBA basketball, yeah. that itself is the prestige, that yes. is the sell. Look yes. at the celebrities around us. We yes. are in New York. We're the richest. Mm-hmm. This is the most fire shit, yeah. and we're doing it. There you go. So that'll always just sell. That's why yeah. they always sell out, even if they're the trashest team in the world. There you go. Right. They're, they're the most valuable uh, franchise, franchise still, franchise. and yeah. they're trash. Yeah, you can't yeah. sit there and say that you pay what you pay for those tickets. You paid for them. You pay for being in New York. There you go. You pay for the Stop city. paying him. You pay for you walking take the power away by taking the money away. It's fire. Stop being mm-hmm. so ignorant. I so, agree. I agree. Uh, yeah, that was it. Okay. All right. Yeah. It is. It does. But you deserve. You know. 
And then yeah. you still went to the game. You still sat there, and then you said, uh, well, "We gotta I don't get out of sports because no one gives a fuck about sports." I know. Are you okay if your if your significant other masturbates a lot? In what like you way? come home and they're like, mm, what you "Hold mean? on, I'm not finished. I gotta." No, no, no. That's that's different. That's different. When you say like, a hold lot, on, and hold when on. you say you, obsessed, that's hold obsessive. Hold on, you right? came what through you a little oh, crazy. Yeah. No, I masturbate a lot. Like she masturbates three or four. A times. A lot or obsessively. Three or four times a day. That's obsessively, no? Is that obsessive? Yeah, because as a human, that's you shouldn't morning, have morning, mon- afternoon, and evening. So that's before she goes to work or she does anything productive. She she lives her life. She can masturbate at work. She'll show you the video. She'll send the you. There's 24 hours in a Look, day. Look, I'm at work doing the crazy shit. Wow. Look at me. I'm at work playing the banjo. I think, yeah, something's wrong. Something's wrong. I'm playing the banjo at work. You don't think something's wrong? Huh? I think something's wrong. Why? You, don't, you have never masturbated three times in a day? I have. And how did you feel? That's why the, my first question was... Was that a great feeling? No, wait, wait. That's why my first question was... Was the feeling time. amazing? That's why my first question. question. I have for you. Yeah, the feeling was amazing. So then who, who the releasing, fuck are you, you Bleak? Who do you think you are to judge? I'm not judging. You first judge. thing I asked was time. How, why does this person have this so much amount of time right. to do this? Because it's mental. Morning. Now, if you allow the mental... I wake up, I jake. Mm-hmm. I go to work. That's called habit. I handle my shit. So then that's habit. At lunchtime, I sneak away for six minutes in So the that's bathroom. obsessively and that I becomes jake. a habit. I jake. So it's a habit. That became an obsessive habit. That's a habit. habit? Yeah. Because we first, it's time. And yeah, time see? had to do with mind. And mind had to do with, it had nothing to do, so it went to that. Then you said, no, it's happening this way, like you just said. So that can't be healthy. Could... So it can't be healthy for somebody to jake multiple times during the day. Not that's saying not it's healthy. not healthy. I just told you everything that has to be. You're going to give me a fucking arbitrary it. number. Yeah. Like, it's only healthy to jake two times a day. Anything no, more I'm than that is that. unhealthy. What nah, kind of stupid ass shit is that? that? I just gave you a when quick you breakdown horny, of my train of thought. That's jake, what I did. Right? Or no. nah, horniness. Stop. Yeah. Stop horniness. You jake every time you get horny. You, 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 you jake every time you get horny. You're addicted you horny, to something. You're satisfied. Do you, do you jake what every we, time you get horny? I, hold on. Whoa, 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 I'm, asking, I'm just asking you. Get so I'm just personal. asking you. Do you jake every time you get horny? Do I jake every time I get horny? Yeah. Listen, why? I don't understand why this is going. No, it's an honest question. Honest question. Do you That's jake every time you get horny? I don't be getting if horny you, like you that. You don't control your urges. You don't control all your urges. Okay. Hold on, G. Now yes. that's the first step. It takes a I'm, I'm, a, I'm you asking G. Horny, you heard? So, on, so, any, so, so, Go so, ahead, so, so, you do have sex or jake every time you get horny? I didn't say that. So what are you? What are you saying? What's the question? Do you oh, jake on. every yeah. time you get horny? Of course yes. I do not jake every time I get horny because most times I get horny. Why? I satisfy my needs. All right, so so are you either having sex or jaking every time you're horny? Do you ever, do you ever get horny but just say, nah, I'm not going to be able to, I'm not acting on that Gosh. right now. I'm doing blah, 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 blah. Of course. There's oh, so, so many different situations in life. So why can't why can't the shorty just like, chill out if I'm at, on if the I'm in the middle of work, work and I'm gi- work. If I'm in the little, middle of work and yeah. I'm giving... A, like a lecture or I'm explaining something or mm-hmm. training somebody okay. and I get horny because I'm thinking of some other shit I'm not yeah. going to be like hold on everybody I need to go jake so no you might just say I just got to use the bathroom okay. no and then go jake you might yes. you might and it's going to take go me jake. at least you might. three right. to seven and a half minutes to get a okay. strong jake but people people do that in the bathroom all, right, all the time you just said she had six minutes in the bathroom exactly it's on the longer jake. side yeah, no she, one she counts people's side. time in the bathroom so yeah, you're good. You can do it. Yeah, niggas is That's out of control. why my first question is wild, was right? time. Out of control. Who? He's not. You niggas is wild. No, I'm wild. Not. Yeah. How? What, what do you mean, how? We just talking reality shit, yeah, bro. This blood. blood exchange. Yeah. Okay, it's a blood For, exchange. That's I'm why saying, I asked I, you, bro. I, I, time. I was just asking a question. I was honest, asking an honest question. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you release? What do you release when you jack off? Whoa. That's out of control. No, I'm serious. The hormone. What I is think, it? Uh, no, I no, think no, no. It's an honest question. The happens. hormone. The hormone. What, what is it? I think you understand what happens when. What is it? Endorphins? Endorphins, of course. Yeah, you release endorphins. So then think about it. Think about it. Okay. Think about how easily the mind just confused that for you. Okay. Where now you gave it time to think of something when it was 
when it had nothing to think about. Okay. Right? It had nothing to think about. It had nothing so to it think need, about. So Why it didn't it have nothing it, to think about? Why I don't know. It, it was just a about... moment in your day that you had nothing to think about. So that thought sneaked in where you automatically was horny. Okay. So you're horny. Right. What happens now? So then do you take action? Because the desire of releasing endorphins just came in. What do you do? See, I feel like niggas who... <clears throat> I feel like people who... I feel like people who... Like, you see how you say, do you do you jake every time that you get horny? Masturbate, I'm sorry. Right? Or, yeah, do you masturbate every, t- every time you get horny? Oh, I'm sorry. So you're having actual sex. Is that what you would like you, me to address you know what I'm it as? Like you might just so, be having sex. Got you. So and if you're not, having if you sex, have the opportunity, if you're not having sex, then you Jake, right? What What is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong. I'm not saying there's Y'all nothing wrong. Y'all think this is weirdos that. if no, you no, don't no, Jake no, or no, have no. sex? But the question that's was, what you do when you get horny? Listen, 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 right? <laughs> my, yo, G, yo, G. Am I bugging? The question was, G. This is crazy. No, no, no. The question was, would you be mad if your significant other masturbates, masturbates a lot? That. So so let's answer that question. So What's then, your, you, want my you like yo, when you come home from work or come home from whatever, and she's jerking off, okay, or she's masturbating, yeah. or he's masturbating, then, oh. yeah, yeah. So hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's okay one for or twice, be, right? And then for me, it would be a female. F- yeah, masturbating. She's no, masturbating. You made that kind of murky. The I, way you I just vice that. versa. You don't explain that right. She comes home. It you're would masturb- only be a female for me. Though. She comes home. You're jerking right? off. You come home. She's masturbating. Okay. So yeah. then. Then you see it once or twice, I think it's good, but then it becomes a, yeah. a really, really, it becomes a time of, it really becomes a matter of time. Okay. Right? right? Because you can have sex in a seven day week. You can have sex three times, four times. If you really, 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 really have the time, you can really have sex five to six times a week. And that's a lot in a relationship if you keep it a thousand. That's the firest relationships, though. Man. Exactly. I love having sex. But like people every day. don't have the time. People just don't have the drive no more. No, I don't know we, what happened. it's the time. It's the drive. It's the time. We be having the time. It's the if time. If you want to make the time, you can make the time. I'm a believer time. that if y'all on the same page, you can always figure it out. Yeah, of course. Like, all right, if our shit is we have to meet up at 4 o'clock in the morning, then that's our shit. Well, if you live together, you are lit. going to If we don't be live together, together and you live morning, far away, I mean, but we, every Thursday morning at 4.32, we can meet up, then it's lit right there. You know what I mean? So anybody else that says some other shit than that is that's some fake shit to me. At the end of the day, to answer your question, I think that's in consideration of time. And then I would ask her, why do you have so much time to do this? <laughs> and then, you know, I'll take it from there. But I would like to be involved the most of the time that she does. What if she just likes to play with the fucking... <laughs> the the vibrator? The big bull Hercules. So what am I there for then? The Hercules nah. bull. So what am I, a show? I'm just the part. The big I'm Joe. the audience. The, no way. I'm never. I'm the, not going to be the. the, the I'm not going to be. Carries out like this, just first of all. Out in the wheelbarrow. Yeah. I'm not going to be in the audience if I'm paying rent. I'm sorry. Huh? It's not going to happen. What is that? No. She like when you're not. She like yo. Hold exactly. On. I'm not going to be when in the audience see, like, when I'm yeah, paying rent. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. No. No, eight inch, eight inch dildo is not happening in my crib. No. If my shorty got an eight inch, joint, twelve inch, I'm talking about like the fourteen, yeah. fourteen, like, like the big ball Hercules joint. My, my, my arm, ball. my form, my brother. No. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, something like that. Regular, Come on, my nigga. So why am I there? You know, regular Body shit. Here, my nigga, pack my things. Holland, go live in my mom's house. I pay less rent. Regular shit, Holland, boy. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, it's not happening. So like, yeah, let's try. So. You, what? Right, Shorty right. had that. What, what's your thoughts? If Shorty had the Herculea ball. Yo, G, you still you still in there? You're not in there, bro. Uh-huh, You're me? not dancing in there. Dancing in what? Shorty got a 14 inch dildo in her fucking cabinet. You're not dancing in there. <laughs> nah, I feel mm. like a lot of women are very resilient. There's no such thing as resilience with a 14 inch dildo, bro. That vin- shit is destruction. Little vinegar, snap back. That's called destruction, my guy. I don't man. know. Snap at that. Oh, yeah. I saw some... So, guys, this is very interesting. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I saw a post on social media 
I don't. I didn't take a screenshot. I'm sorry. Usually I do. I bring okay. a screenshot to the meetings, and yeah. we usually get a push through. But, but I just remember the 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 fucking sentiment of what was said, and I thought it was very paraphrase, interesting. Paraphrase. And I'm gonna paraphrase, and Please. I just want to let you, you guys tell me what you, how you feel about it. Ready? Talk to Ready? me. Ready? Let's go. Corona. Um, we don't drink Coronas. That's a fact. Mm. Anal sex yeah. is for women with loose coochies and whack box or niggas with homo tendencies. <clears throat> yeah, I could, I could like, you know, slightly get up on that. Wow. So, I need some time. so can I ask you guys a question? Yeah. Piggybacking off of that. How do you guys feel about anal sex? You know what I mean? I don't really now, understand. actually, the question should be the question that you should ask is what Tell are what, what are bleak. you? Hold on, bleak. What, what is the success? Ask? What is the success rate in anal sex? I don't know what that means. You're gonna have to rephrase that. No, the that. success rate. Like rephrase that. How many times what is have success you, rate? What? How Do many times have you have have you been successful in anal sex? I succeed because I'm the man. No. My success. I didn't say that. No. My the successful success rate in anal sex. Uh, is the question. Yo, G. So Think about it, G. It's not what I said. Let me get a beer. Bro. I said it, but I didn't say it. Nah. Trust so me. listen. Uh, that came out right. That's what you're saying. Uh, nah, I'm sorry. Oh, I said I doubled that. Nah, go ahead. Um, what do we think about anal sex? Go ahead. Listen. Uh, what do we think about anal sex? How do you feel about anal sex? Do you think it's homo to have anal sex with a woman? No, I don't think so. Do you think it's homo tendencies? I don't think so. I think I think sexuality is 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 um is something that is combined with curiosity, imagination, and pleasure. And once you start, <laughs> Ooh, that's not a fire, bleak. Yeah, no problem. That's not a crazy. Wavy seal. And anytime you start to put these walls around these things, you start to construct and start and start the blockage, and then. Mm. Once the that's blockage. Right. So you're cool with this. You cool with and the how do you break? How, and how do you break the blockage, Bleak? By just being open. So you, so you, so you got to, you got to get open. With, you got to get open and let them break the she blockage. The, yeah, you got to let her get the tule off. Let her break the she blockage. Got the, she got to strap in the tule. She got to strap in the tule. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah. Hey, hey, you got to do whatever it takes, you know? Oh, that's what you be doing. Whatever. No, not necessarily me. She love it when she deep though. It's all subjective. Call her Stephanie. Hefeni. Hey. How about Enelie? You know, things like that. We, uh, she said she got the plunger. Well, not for me. I, not for me. So if, she, if, you're, if you pull up and your shorty got the fucking beads, oh, mm -hmm. crazy daddies. Yeah, they ain't no beads. Brow, brow, brow. Like nah, some fucking that's not firecrackers. For me. Obviously, that's for her. Wild beads. Bow. Wow, that's a lot. Straight out her ass. That's a uh, lot, my guy. You fucking with it? That's for her, obviously, uh, bro. Um, I just, I just be staying away from that region. There you go. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm oh, boring. No, but I'm honestly, boring. I'm real, a loser. Real, I'm sorry, a loser. sorry. I went off on the ass tangent. My fault. But the real question was, how do you feel about anal sex? I'm not really. You know what I mean? Still the, in the same sentiment. So you know, you know, fucking, that's not, you know fucking bitches in the ass. That's not his back. No. You know, fucking girl in the ass. No. Nah. Uh, was that too forward right there? I mean, I mean this is the blunt exchange. This is We're blunt friends. Exchange. Nah. We're I friends. Think the this is a safe place. Okay. I you don't fuck a girl in the ass? I think the Kama Sutra says otherwise. Do you don't fuck a girl in the ass? I think the Kama Sutra says otherwise. That's what sounds like a G answer, and I respect yeah. that. Pardon me? Yeah. <clears throat> oh. You know, you, Playboy? Yeah. Do I do I engage in, in that? Yeah. <laughs> Um, what do you, think, you know, bro? it's case by case, right? That's so, not, hey, so, that's so not but good. no, ultimately you do. Some though. people bring that out in you, I, no depending homo. on the person. But you ultimately, yeah, some females are just so intoxicating that it's okay, it's all right, man. Well, they make it, and they make it. It's it's so definitely you, a woman thing. It's a feminine thing, and it's amazing. So, what do you think about the guys who say that it's uh, that if you do that, you have like homo tendency? I think those men may be homosexuals <laughs> themselves. Crump. Hold on, crump. That's called insecurity. I feel like they're wrong insecurity. because that's not the case for me. So I can see that there are instances that that's not true. Yeah, 
You see, maybe, that's and maybe problem, they're homosexual and they're projecting, be, and that's fine. You if you're want, homosexual and that's how you would feel in that situation, live in your truth. You would want to fuck the nigga. Not me. We're different. Not, not me. You see, that's another thing. Some people have a problem with being uh, different. I mean, just be different if you want to be different. There's always someone for someone, right? What they say? There is always someone for yeah. someone. Yeah. Don't shoot the messenger. The, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> the messenger. The but messenger. nah, yeah, man. <gasps> to be honest with you, yeah. That so everybody's okay with their, their significant other masturbating OD. I, mean, I don't think OD would be good yeah, because that's not, not cool. healthy. Not yeah, it won't be healthy for the relationship. Do y'all masturbate OD? It's no. only healthy for that no. person, no. and that's selfish. Do you think that if you had to masturbate OD no. in a relationship that something is going bad? Yes. Um, yeah, I guess so. You never had a situation where, like, you fucked a bitch OD crazy and it was yeah. fire, but you're yeah. like, damn, I still got to masturbate. Like, shit was so crazy, I want to masturbate to the video. See, but like I, I said, that's on you. An hour and a half ago because she was yeah. so fire. But that's on you. No, that's out of control? I mean, that's not... That's an out-of-control situation? That's on you, and that affects the relationship. So you... So um, you have to find a way that, that your significant other is comfortable with that. Until you don't get to that point. So, uh, like, uh, are are you cool with the uh, masturbation all crazy? Am I cool with the masturbation yeah. all crazy? Um, it, I feel like it could be a fun thing for all of us if, if I, f- I would like to get involved. I'd like to be getting involved. Now, you don't always like be around when I want to get it in. Yeah, then go in. Uh-huh. Oh, I can't control you. You're a woman. Year 2020, you're the year of the woman. Yeah. And and it was it would have been the year of the woman any other year anyway. Mm. 2020 so is just yeah. an emphasis. Mm. You, of course you can masturbate. You, I don't know. You don't have to ask me for some shit like that. Yeah. Are you out of control? Do you think? Hell yeah, shorty. I'm going to... I'm not going to ask you when I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to Jake... What, what if she's like... I want? I, what if she's like... It's yeah, just going to happen. What if she's like, yeah, I want to know when you masturbate. All right. Freaky she, bitch. But I'm not okay, baby. But she's not I'll tell, tell you, baby. She's right. not going to tell you when she masturbates. Nah, see? What kind of shit is that? I can't get some of that nice nah. pleasure, too? Yeah, the woman, 2020. Damn, I can't get no freaky shit, too? That's out of control, my nigga. Yeah, let me... Uh, Can I get a video of it later or something? Right. Put that ass. So, I got a... Uh, a it. I got a viewer uh, uh, DM, right? Yeah. And they said to me, G, they're like, G, mm-hmm. it's crazy how mm-hmm. women what? go... So crazy and they make no sense. They're like so hypocritical. Okay. I'm like, listen, bro, I know what you're trying to say. And Loki, I feel you, but you can't say that. That's too crazy. It's right. 2020. It's yeah. Come on. Be you're more specific. Yeah. Give me the case that you're talking about. Give me the specific Beyonce the specifics of what's going on. Out here wilding. Can't talk about women like that. Yeah, you can't just wild out and say shit like yeah. that. So he said that it's crazy how women will like beg you to to do things for them and break your rules for them yeah. and, you know, show them that you care or whatever. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. Then that's true. immediately when it gets crazy, throw that in your face. Yes. Of you being not strong-willed or mm-hmm. not handling your business yes, or yes, not yes. doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah, right? yes. Have you ever experienced that? Do you know about of that? Of course, Have you I think seen that? I think every man. Like, has do you understand what I'm that. trying to say? I think every man has experienced that. I think like your woman, like for example, like let's say your woman calls you, like, "Hey, babe, uh, I know tomorrow is your day off. Can you come with me for something yeah. at my job? It's 45 minutes away. Come you know, pick you me up, sit right? down or whatever for a little bit. And just yeah. it's your day off. Just chill. Or just drive me on errands. Drive yeah, me to or run some errands. Yeah. yeah, and you know you want to, you know, do just your chill. Day. You want to chill, chill, take your day off. And you're like, nah, nah, nah. And she's like, yo, baby, please, I need this. Okay. And you're like, all right. And in the end, when anything comes up or there's an argument, like, yo, nigga, I didn't ask you to do none of that. I did ask you to do that, but you said yeah. you didn't want to do it, and you did it because you have no fucking backbone. You're a pussy-ass nigga. Okay. Yeah, that's a grind. You're a uh, pussy. You should have uh, stood up for yourself. Mm. If you really didn't want to do it, you wouldn't have done it, and you did it. So now don't go tit for tat. You did that shit. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. How do you feel about that? That's crazy that uh, uh, that's crazy that uh, somebody you consider your significant other would uh, ever say that shit to you. Like that's fucking crazy. First of all, right? It's out of control. Yeah, like that's what do you first. mean? You asked me to do it. 
What you mean? Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't take my, my my kindness for weakness, yo. I okay. can be very cold. I asked you to do like, it, but if it was so serious to you, then you can't never bring it up as something that you did. Like you did it for me. I'm already. not bringing it up as something that I. I'm not looking for for points right now. I'm saying, like, like, like by me taking that, by me sacrificing my time to help you out with something, something that I was gonna do isn't available right now. So all I'm looking for is some acknowledgement. I'm not looking for the fucking pity party or anything like that. Like, <laughs> all I'm saying is just acknowledge, like, you know what I mean? Like, I I've t- I took value in what you said you wanted or you needed help in. Yeah. So, like, respect me as a man. And no, you but, you, but you said that you didn't want to do nothing on your day off. I didn't. And in the end, you, you came and did this shit, so you I don't want to hear me. nothing about you saying. You was begging me. Yeah. I don't want my girl begging. And you broke your rules for me like a pussy. A real nigga would have said, oh. I'm not doing what I don't want to do. Yeah. So that's what real niggas do. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I'm, I, it's like, crazy, like because if you did yeah. that, if you acted like I'm gonna do what real niggas do and do whatever the fuck I want to do, then they would be tight. Like, yo, this nigga don't do shit. This nigga, right? Yeah, that's a lot of conditioning. It's a lot of conditioning, and and, and all of that. What you said, it's a lot of conditioning. That's what I hear. Because. You know, that example that you use, you know, mm-hmm. I decided to take my day off. It's the weekend. I say it's a Saturday, right? Yeah. Saturday. You don't come do some shit for me 45 minutes away. You know, you got to sit down in the, but you know, the, the room for like four hours real quick. You know, and this shit. person, because yeah. that's. But then, you know, we can go get some. Nah, first of all, shit. I'm not, like, if you have to do something that's taking four hours, nah, I'm not sitting in the way. Nah, I'm not here. doing, I'm not doing that. I'll Are you going to come back at the lunchtime thing then? Yeah, what? You're going to drop me off and then come back at lunchtime? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then drop me off, come back at lunchtime, and then okay. come back and get me when it's over. What do you mean? Come back and get you what? See? What? See? See how selfish you are? I'm yeah. selfish. You have a whole day off. You're not doing shit. I am. I am doing something. What are you doing? I'm, what are you doing? I'm recharging my battery. That's out of control. Your That's girl is out here 45 minutes away, and you can't even pick her up from work. Or no, I said I could, I could. pick her up from work. Yeah, and to and eat lunch with her. No, not that day. Oh, okay. Gee, that That's sounds selfish. like toxic femininity. Toxic femininity. Is what that? you just represented was toxic femininity. <laughs> <laughs> that was toxic femininity. Yes, yeah, sir. Explain to me why it's toxic femininity. Because obviously you are disregarding. The man's time? My feelings. His feelings. And what about her feelings? If I was see, at work, what that, would you be there's doing? The, there's the misjudgment of compromise. If I was at work, what would you be doing? Right there's now? the misjudgment of compromise. All right, but, but you're not at work. All right, do I ask you to come to my job? Is, is the do person you? asking? Do you? I don't know. Does he? Do you? I mean... That we just got next level on this fucking scenario. I mean, oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah, because crazy. it's a selfish scenario. Yeah. Okay. It's a toxic, selfish scenario, which is the majority of the time. All right, Facts. so we'll come back and, and touch that yeah. again next episode. No doubt, yeah. bro. Yo, thank you for watching the Blunt Exchange. Thank you, please. It's your boy, Aim Gun. Yo, huh? yo, yo, my man. Yo, yo, yo Crump, what's and poppin'? My, and my man, Pablo, aka Bleak. We thank you for pulling up, rolling up, lighting up, and getting, getting blunt, blunt with us. us. Yes. Stay blunt. Hit us up on all platforms. Yes. On Spotify Podcasts, mm. Apple Podcasts. Follow. Comment. YouTube, yeah. Twitter, do it. Facebook, yeah, subscribe, oh, all that kind of stuff. Bra- all bra- 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 we'll have all the things up in the uh, at the end of the episode. And Yo, keep it crazy ass episode, huh? Yeah. Oh man, we wild out. Yes, we yes, yes. Sh- travels, bleep. Yo, good looks. So next uh, time, so see next ya time. next time, next week. All right, cool. Keep it blunt. Mm. Don't forget, follow us on all platforms: Twitter, Blunt Exchange, Instagram, Blunt Exchange, Facebook. Blood Exchange. And you're already here. YouTube, Blood Exchange. Don't forget to subscribe, like the videos, hit the notification bell, and send us a comment. I social, niggas say to be a man, you can't be emotional. But that's crazy, sometimes I feel like I'm going postal. That's why my girl, she be bugging me like I can't approach you. Give me a minute, a breather to get my thoughts together. Quick meditation, mind racing by some awesome weather. I'm in the tropics, so I'm bumping some big popper. Usually a shit popper, now I got my shit proper. Look at me changing, my I'm growing up Just had a show at the open mic and I tore it up My niggas telling me I got it, yeah